Alright, so this weekend I've been to a few different festivals. I went to watch my guy Ocean perform at Into the Woods and my guy Boo perform at Bass Fest. I also performed at Nas Fest a couple weeks back with my guy Gio. And whenever I'm at these festivals, I hear drum and bass everywhere. You literally can't escape it. I can't lie, I don't normally listen to it, but I've got mad respect for the producers and DJs because the energy their audience gives is crazy. They go wild, man. So he got me wanting to step outside of my comfort zone again and step into their world, or at least try. So right now, I'm going to try and make my first drum and bass beat and i know there's a few different styles but i want to go for something kind of heavy like my guy boo was playing just something to get a crowd hype and yo before we get into it i want to let everyone know that this is your last chance to join the cactus creators club at the pre-launch discount price where it's 50 percent off so if you want access to an exclusive producer community the project files for the beats i'm making my videos live sessions with me beat reviews exclusive tutorials monthly kits and way more just click the link in the description now so yeah i'm looking forward to seeing all of you in that and let's get straight into the video. All right, so as always, I'm going to start with the BPM. And what I'm finding is with drum and bass, a lot of it's around 170 or like 174. And then in almost everything I've seen, there's some sort of sound design. And most people use Serum. So that's what I'm going to be using to design most of the sounds. But I'm going to start with the drums to get the bounce first. And to be honest, I don't really have any drum and bass kits. So I'm just going to use Splice and pick out some sounds that I like. So we can start with a kick. Feeling that one. Grab some snares too. Then we just need a few hats too. I'm just going to grab a few different ones. So I want to try and layer a few different snares and just something punchy. Like that one. So I think the main bounce of the kick in the snare is just this. And then we could layer these. Already sounded sick. But then with this one, I'm going to go to the wrench tool and bring the shift up. So I don't want it playing at the exact same time. So this would be the extreme. I'm thinking that I might do the same with this first one. There we go. So we'll just copy those out. Okay, next up, we'll grab some hats. And same thing again. I want to take a couple different ones. Might need an open hat too. So we'll just grab a tight hat like this. I think this can just go on every four step. Okay, next we'll get this one, I think, or this one. I'm going to layer this hat with this one. To make it stand out a bit more and then i'm also gonna layer this loop underneath it it's just a hat loop this is just gonna add a bit more swing and then i just want to get this open hat in somewhere so i'm thinking just before this second snare and then i've just renamed everything to keep it clean i'm gonna route them all to a mixer and then i'm also just gonna group them and then i've just got this decapitator preset on that called add some tinsel it's just gonna bring out more of the high end And then I just want to pan a few things too. So especially the hats. I'm also just adding some reverb, bring the low cut up and the decay down. All right, so I might add to that drum loop soon. But for now, I want to go straight to the bass because for a lot of those tracks I was hearing, I don't actually really hear a melody or a chord progression or anything. It's more just about a bass line. So I'm thinking we start with that and then see what space we got. changing up this last part so yeah like i said just want the pattern for now and now i can start messing with it all right so i'm thinking we start with some kind of saw wave let's just bring this down a few octaves so at this point i'm just going to scroll through some of the different waveforms start tweaking a few things and then when i like the sound of it we can run with that even something like this and then we could add a layer of sub and then we can layer it with something else and then we could bring this one up like seven semitones start playing around with this too all right so we're getting somewhere bring the sub in as well we'll turn on the filter just drive that up add some resonance too and then to add some movement, maybe we could take this and link it to the resonance. Or link it to the cutoff. And then we can start adding in some effects. Maybe some flanger. Face the sound sick. Could even add some reverb to that. Just bring the size up, the mix down, and then the low cut up. Then 
Then I've just added a parametric EQ2. And then just as a little cheat code, you can actually select the key root note C. So I just want to emphasize that root note a bit. Yeah, about there. You know what? We could even get some delay on this, but with the feedback really low. I think that works, you know. Sounds kind of hard. All right, sick. So I'm going to save that first base for now. I'm going to clone Serum and then we'll think of another one. So let's start from scratch again. This one sounds kind of sick. See if we can layer that with something as well. All right, let's go into one of the more experimental ones, like these Spectrum ones. Oh, that sounds kind of mad. Think of another pattern as well. Get some effects on that too, though. Copy that. And then, yeah, maybe just semitones at the end again. Sounds nuts. All right, so I might leave that one as it is for now. I'm going to get a third one. I think I want to find a preset for this one. I just wanted to show you a couple sound design ideas. And I'm no expert on drum and bass, so I feel like I can use a preset now. So this is the kind of sound I was looking for. It's called a foghorn. And I think just one bass note on the root note. Sounds mad, but I know them ravers love it. So we could just have one note here. Because when I start arranging it, I'll have that note and then the other one straight after. See what I'm saying? Something like that. All right, so the next thing I want to add is an acapella. And the idea that I have is to add the ODB one for Shimmy Shimmy. Yeah, I think it's going to sound sick. So yeah, let's see what we can do. Ooh, baby, I like it, bro. Shimmy Shimmy, yeah, Shimmy, yeah, Shimmy, yeah. Like, these parts will sound sick. Just need to get it in time, though. See what I'm saying? Parts of this is how sick. I just wanted to clean them up a little bit. So I've got one EQ just cutting out the lows and highs. Another one just ducking the low mids a bit because it's hitting too much there. Pancake just to make it go between both ears and then a bit of reverb. See what I'm saying? Sounds hard. So I might have one section where it plays like this. And then I want another section where his vocals are quite cut up. Alright, so yeah, in this second section, I'm just going to chop up the vocals a bit. So yeah, something like this. Cut this one as well. Copy that. And then maybe we could take this part here. Yeah, there we go. And then I'm going to take all of that and then just make one even simpler part. Like take out the year. Copy that over. And then maybe that part where he says, give me the mic. And then yeah, similar chop. Give me the mic. Yeah, that's the one. All right, so they're going to be the main elements. I think I need one more bass, just some kind of Reese bass. And then a lot of it's going to be down to the arrangement, building up tension, releasing that, and then adding a few drum fills, effects, maybe some textures. But yeah, we'll see what I can find. So yeah, I'm just flicking through some presets. Maybe this one. I just want a simple one to build up. This one sounds sick. Not the type I was looking for, but I might use that in one section. Let's try another one. So yeah, I'm thinking just a simple bass like this. That's only going to be for a build up. All right, so now it's going to be the interesting part because here's where I need to build up a lot of tension and then just make sure I've got the structure right. So I've just split everything. I'll bring it all out. I'll have the vocals at the bottom just so it's organized. I'll just copy the drums over for now. And now I just need to arrange the bass lines a bit. So I'm thinking we start off with this one. All right, let's bring everything over. I'm going to get rid of the hat loop and the open hat. Copy that over. And then let's just decide what bass is going to come in first. Maybe this one's going to extend this so it finishes with the vocals. All right, I've just copied this one more time. Going to make the intro a little bit longer. I want the vocals to finish there. But then I need something to build up loads of energy throughout this section. And then maybe some kind of fill before the drop. All right, so I'm thinking I take a fill like this. And then this one. So let's cut everything here. And then bring this one in. And then cut the sub. 
Yeah, we're almost there. It's sounding cold. Okay, I think I need to save some of the drums. So I'm going to take out the kick and the hats here. Then in this section, bring in some of the hats. Then in here, the open hat. So it's just going to keep rising up. Then on the drum bus, I'm going to add a filter, but automate it. Try something like filter free. Even just this preset here. And I've just got it set to 12 bars. So I'm going to right click here, automate it, bring it off like here. All right, and then I just want some kind of riser effect. All right, so right now, I'm just adding a combination of risers. All right, the risers are sounding sick, but now I want some kind of texture. A bit of a longer one, just to act as some atmosphere rising up. So yeah, I'm thinking something in here. Yeah, that will work. We could play that from here. Maybe two layers. All right, and then I've just copied that same filter freak preset, and then I'm just gonna do the same automation. So for going the first one, I can click copy state, and then go into the second one, and then paste state, and it's gonna be the exact same. So it's just gonna follow the drums. All right, then I just want one transition for the drop. So for that impact I'm looking for, I've got this crash. But I'm also gonna make it unique and reverse it. But I'm gonna make this one really short. All right, so I'm going to bring this over, have this twice. So then in this section, we could bring one of these mad ones in. And then, yeah, just keep alternating it like that. Sounds mad. And then, yeah, we'll bring in this one here. <laughs> this one's crazy, man. And then just have that again here. Yeah, that's the one. Right, then I'm just gonna add one more filter on the drum bus. We'll try Love Filter this time. So we'll just automate this. And I only want this to play at the end here. And then just have it come off like this. And then get rid of the end ones here. All right, last thing I wanna add is just this ride. Maybe like that. Turn the other ones down. All right, one last thing I'm gonna try is just recording the triple layered snare that we've got. I'm just gonna take one of them, and then I just wanna use this to build up some tension. And then we'll repeat that four times here. And then even quicker here, just getting faster each time. And then just one more drum fill, and I've cut the end off. This beat sounded crazy, man. I know this would go off at a rate. And this is one of those beats that I could just keep adding to. But for the sake of the video, then that's going to be it, man. So let's have a listen from the beginning. Yeah, I'll play this one from the beginning just so you can hear the whole build up. So yeah, I'm just starting off with a snare. And then every eight bar, I just pick up some energy. So we've got the hats in now and the texture. Same again here. This beat's wild, but This would 100% go off at a festival or a rave. New bass. Yeah, the combination of those two sounds mad. This is like Stunk Face Central. So yeah, I just went back to the beginning for this one. Like I said, you could keep building on it. But yeah, let me know what you think in the comments of this one. Like I said, it's my first ever drum and bass beat. So yeah, just coming up to the drop again. And if you want more videos like this, click up here. Off a drill, click up here. Like, oh.